Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Here's a new modern crochet take for you lovely people to enjoy. Recently, you've been loving some of the modern pieces, but a few of you have said, Hey T, I love it, but you got anything a bit more covered? To which I said, of course. Well, promise made, promise kept. Which is why you should click that bell. You see, this is a channel for the people, and while I may run it, I need your support to keep it going. Hashtag teamwork makes the dream work. Now, just because it's covered doesn't mean I wasn't going to make it cute, so I threw in a peekaboo keyhole and made the mock neck a bit taller, because, you know, fashion. All in all, I'm super excited with the design, and I'm sure more than a few of you are too, so I won't keep y'all. Now, without further ado. For this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I use 300 grams of yarn, or that's 500 yards if you're stateside. As the tools, a 5.5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using three stitches for this project, and they will be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. single crochet and half double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small but you can adjust it for your size and we'll explain how to in the video so let's get started. Getting this top started we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next we're going to grab our five and a half millimeter hook and start off by making a chain that reaches from our underarm down to where we want the bottom of our top to be. Mine's going to be a chain of 45, and that's about 12 inches or 30 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of two. This is our turning chain, and from here, we're going to prepare for a half double crochet. So yarn over, and we're going to insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook. So insert. Yarn over, pull through that first loop. We should now have three loops on our hook. So we're going to yarn over and pull through all three. That's our first half double crochet, so let's do the next one together. We're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain. We're going to yarn over, pull through that first loop, yarn over, pull through three. And we are going to continue to put one half double crochet into every chain until we have just one chain left because we're going to increase together. Now that we've half double crocheted all the way down our chain, we have just one chain left and we're going to do our increase into there together. So we're going to yarn over, then insert our hook into that last chain. We're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, that's our first half double crochet, and we're going to put one more into that same last chain. So yarn over, insert your hook into that last chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through three. Then once we have that, we are going to work our way up to our next back loop slip stitch row. So do a chain up of one. That's our turning chain, and we're going to flip our work. Now we're going to go into the row of back loop slip stitches. So in order to do that, we're going to be inserting our hook into that first stitch's back loop, or the loop that's furthest away from us. So instead of typically inserting our hook in through both loops of our first stitch, we're going to insert our hook into that back loop, and then from here we're going to yarn over and automatically pull through the two loops on our hook. So pull through one, pull through two. Let's do the next one. Insert your hook into that next back loop, Yarn over and then pull through the two loops on our hook. We are going to continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. We have just put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch and we finished our row number two. To start off our row number three, we're going to do a row of half double crochets, but this one's going to be in the back loops. So do a chain up of two, and this is our turning chain and flip our work. From here, we're going to do back loop half double crochets. So yarn over, and we're going to insert our hook into that first stitch's back loop, or the loop that's furthest away from us, and then half double crochet like normal. So yarn over, pull through, 
yarn over, pull through all three. Let's do one more. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through three. We are going to continue to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and I'll meet you guys back when we have one stitch left so that we can do our last increase together. And now that we have worked our way up with one stitch left, we're going to do another increase of two back loop half double crochets together. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into that last back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, and then one more into that same back loop. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, and pull through three. From here, we're going to work our way up to the next row together. So do a chain up of one, pull up our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we're going to maintain these two rows of back loop half double crochets with an increase of two on the end and a row of back loop slip stitches until this reaches the corner of our underarm. And I'll meet you guys back right after a slip stitch row. Okay, so I'm back with my underarm portion and I have a total of four rows. I ended on my back loop slip stitch row. So from here, we're going to now do an increase of three into our half double crochet rows. So since I'm along the bottom, I'm going to do a chain up of two and flip my work. I'm going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Then I'll meet you guys back at the last one. Now that we put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch except for the last, we're now going to do an increase of three back loop half double crochets. So yarn over. Insert your hook into that last back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three and two more into that same back loop. So insert, pull through, pull through three. There's number two, once more. Insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. That is our increase of three back loop half double crochets. And we're also gonna be increasing into our slip stitch row. So from here, we're going to do a chain of two. So there's one, there's two. The chain that's nearest to our hook is going to count as our turning chain, so we're going to be inserting our hook into the second chain from our hook with a back loop slip stitch. So turn your work. You're going to skip this first chain and insert your hook into the second, making sure we're going in through that back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. And then from here, continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Once we have this, we are going to continue with these two rows until this reaches the front of our body. And I'll meet you guys back right after a back loop half double crochet row so that we can go in with our shoulders together. All right, so I am back with my rows and I have a total of seven of them now. And I ended on my half double crochet row. From here, I'm going to make a chain that reaches up to my shoulders and I have already measured that out. So I'm gonna start off by making a chain that's five inches or 13 centimeters or a chain of 17. Now that I have my chain, I'm going to block off my last chain, do a chain up of one. And then into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a slip stitch. So insert your hook. You're gonna yarn over and pull through both loops on our hook. So pull through one, pull through two. Let's do the next one. Into that next chain, Insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through two. Continue to put one slip stitch into every chain until we reach our body portion. And now that we've slip stitched into every stitch in our chain, we're now going to go in with back loop slip stitches for the body portion. So flip your work if you have to, then insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Into that next back loop, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through everything. We're gonna to continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And then once we make our way down to the end, we're gonna do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. For this shoulder portion, we're not gonna be doing any increases or decreases. So just alternate between those two rows until we get a shoulder portion the size that we like. Then I'll meet you guys back right after a slip stitch row so that we can go in with our cutout. All right, so I am back with my shoulder rows and I now have a total of 14 rows. 
we did end on a slip stitch row. So from here, we're going to start off by inserting our stitch marker into where we want to start our cutout. And I've inserted mine into the 10th stitch from the top, or that's about two and a half inches or six centimeters. And then from here, I'm going to work my back loop half double crochets, making my way up until I have two stitches right before my stitch marker. Now that we have one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, we're now going to decrease into the last two stitches that we have right before our stitch marker. So let's do that together. We're gonna start that off by yarning over and then insert our hook into that second to last back loop. We're gonna yarn over, pull through that loop and we should have three loops on our hook. We're gonna also insert our hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through one, we should now have four loops on our hook. From here, yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. So pull through one, two, three, and four. And then from here, we're gonna do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then do our back loop slip stitch row, but this also has a decrease in it as well, so let's do that together. Insert your hook into that first back loop. We're gonna yarn over, pull through that first loop. Also insert your hook into that next back loop. You should have three loops on our hook. And from here, we're gonna yarn over and then pull through all three loops that's on our hook. So pull through one, two, three loops. And then from here, continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we get to the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two, cause we're gonna decrease together one more time. All right, so we have made our way all the way down with our back loop half double crochet, and we have left our last two stitches into this row. So let's do another set of decreases together. We're gonna yarn over and insert our hook into that second to last back loop, yarn over, pull through one, we should have three loops on our hook, and then also insert your hook into that last back loop, yarn over, pull through one. We should have four loops on our hook, so yarn over, and pull through all four, and that's our decrease all finished. So from here, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and let's do a decrease of two back loop slip stitches together. Insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we're going to maintain these two rows until we reach the middle of our chest. And I'll meet you guys back right after a half double crochet row so that we can go in with our middle slip stitch row and then do the other side of our cutout together. All right, so I am back and I have made my way to the middle of my chest. I've ended on a back loop half double crochet row and I have a total of 19 rows. Our middle row is going to be a back loop slip stitch row with no increases or decreases. So go ahead and get that started. We're going to do a chain up of one flip our work, and then just put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last one, because we're going to do the increased side of our cutout together. All right, so we are in our first half double crochet row right after our middle slip stitch row, and we have left our last stitch so that we can do an increase together. So what we're gonna do is yarn over, insert our hook into that last back loop, yarn over, pull through, pull through three, and then to close off our increase, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into that same back loop, pull through, pull through three. That is our increase of two back loop half double crochets. And since we are mirroring everything we did on this side, we're going to need to increase into our slip stitch rows as well. So from here, we're going to do a chain up of two. We're gonna flip our work, and then we're gonna insert our hook into the second chain from our hook. So we're gonna skip this stitch, which counts as our turning chain, then insert into that next chain's back loop. Yarn over and pull through everything. And then from here, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we're gonna keep alternating between a back loop half double crochet row with an increase and a back loop slip stitch row with an increase 
for the same amount of rows as we have on this side of our middle row. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can go in with our shoulder portion from there. All right, I have the increased side of my cutout done and we're now going to do the shoulder on this side. We're gonna start off by making a chain that reaches up to our shoulder and it's gonna be the same amount of stitches that we skipped on this side for our cutout. So since I skipped 10 stitches here on this side, I'm going to make a chain of 10. Now that I have my chain, I'm gonna block off that last chain and do a chain up of one. Into that second chain from our hook or the chain that we blocked off, I'm gonna insert my hook, if I can, with a slip stitch, yarn over, and pull through everything. We're going to put one slip stitch into every chain. And now that we have slip stitched into every chain, I'm gonna insert my hook into that first back loop with another slip stitch. And just like our other shoulder portion, we're gonna alternate between a back loop slip stitch and back loop half double crochet row with no increases and no decreases for the same amount of rows that we have on this side. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do our underarm. I've just finished my shoulder portion and now I need to finish this piece off by doing our underarm portion. We're gonna start off by inserting our stitch marker into the same chains that we made on this side. So if you guys have my numbers, I made a chain of 17. So over here, I'm going to count down 17 and then insert my stitch marker into that stitch. From here, I'm going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last three stitches right before our stitch marker. And we're doing that because the last row that we did on this side, we did an increase of three. So I'll meet you guys back on this end. And now that we've half double crocheted all the way up, we left one, two, three stitches right before our stitch marker. So now we're gonna do a decrease of three back loop half double crochets. So we're gonna yarn over. Start off by inserting your hook into that third to last back loop. Yarn over, pull through. Also insert your hook into that second to last back loop. Yarn over, pull through, and then once more into that last back loop right before our stitch marker. Yarn over, pull through. We should have one, two, three, four, and five loops on our hook. So we're just gonna yarn over and pull through all five of those loops. Once we have that, we're gonna do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then do a decrease of two back loop slip stitches. So insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, and then to work our way up to the next row, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last three. We're gonna do one more decrease of three back loop half double crochets together. All right, so I have half double crocheted my way back up and we're gonna do one more decrease of three back loop half double crochets together. So I have left three stitches. I'm gonna yarn over, insert my hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. Into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through and into the next yarn over pull through one two three four five loops on our hook so yarn over and pull through all five loops we're going to repeat the same two rows that we just did until we have the same amount of rows that we have on this side and then we're going to do our back loop half double crochet with a decrease of two then back loop slip stitch row until we are done so i just have three rows of these type of decreases over here so once when I get here, I'm just gonna do my chain up of one, flip my work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. I'm gonna do a chain up of two, flip my work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and then close that row off with a decrease of two back loop half double crochets. And I'm gonna keep repeating those two rows until I have the same amount of rows as this portion over here. I'm gonna do a chain up of one and cut once when I have that, and then I will meet you guys back. All right, so I'm back and I have just finished up going in with the entirety of my front panel. We are now going to start off with our back panel by doing the same underarm portion that we have. So same chain, same row counts, and same type of increases. Then I'll meet you guys back once we get to this row so that we can do our shoulder portion, and then we're gonna work straight across for our back. All right, so I have just finished up going in with my underarm. 
And then from here, we're going to make the same chain that we made here for our shoulder portion. So if you guys are going with my numbers, I made a total of 17 chains. So I'm going to chain 17, and then I'm going to do rows of back loop single crochets. And then I'm going to do rows of back loop slip stitches and back loop half double crochets, making my way all the way across for the same amount of rows that I have for my body portion. I'm not going to have any increases or decreases, so I'll meet you guys back once we have this solid piece finished. And then I'll remind you guys how to do the underarm portion one more time. All right, so I am back and I have just made my way all the way across with my back panel. And we're going to end this off by doing the same underarm portion that we did for the front panel. So I'm just going to talk you guys through it really quickly. For this first row of our underarm, we're going to insert our stitch marker into the same amount of stitches as chains that we made on this side. So just like before, if you guys are going with my numbers, I have 17 chains. So I counted down 17 stitches, inserted my stitch marker. And for this first row, I'm going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch and then do a decrease of three back loop half double crochets into the three stitches right before my stitch marker. Then I'm going to decrease into every row for the same amount of rows that we have our increases over here. And then end this off by doing a decrease into every half double crochet row until we have the same amount of rows as this side. Do a chain up one and cut and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I've just finished up going in with my back panel and now we are ready to seam the sides. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that our work is flipped right side out, meaning the ribbing is faced up towards us for one panel. And then for the other panel, the ribbing is faced downwards. Once we have that, we're gonna be inserting our hook into the corner stitch of both the front and the back panel. Insert your yarn onto your hook, pull all the way through, and then do a chain up of one. And we're gonna seam this by doing outside loop slip stitches. So let's do the first few together. Into the first available stitch into the front panel, we're gonna insert our hook into the front loop or the loop that's closest to us. And then into the back panel, into that next available stitch, we're gonna be inserting our hook into that back loop or the loop that's farthest away from us. So let's find that one. Insert your hook. We should have three loops on our hook. From here, we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's our first one. Let's do the next one too. Into that next available stitch, insert your hook into that front loop only. And then into that next available stitch, insert your hook into that back loop only. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. And then we are going to continue to put one outside loop slip stitch into every stitch that we have. Once we don't have any more stitches left, we're going to do a chain up of one and cut. All right, and now that we have seamed our side, we are ready to seam our shoulders together. So for the shoulders, we're going to want to make sure that our work is flipped wrong side out meaning that the ribbing is faced each other now because we want this seam to be on the inside of our piece. Once we have that, we're gonna be inserting our hook into the corner stitch into the front panel and into the corner stitch into the back panel. From there, we're gonna insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and then do a chain up of one to secure. From here, we're gonna be single crocheting, putting one single crochet into every side row that we have, making sure that we're going in through both the front and the back panel at the same time. So my first side row that I have is this side half double crochet row. I'm gonna insert my hook into the front panel's loop and then find that same row along the back and insert your hook into there and then single crochet like normal. We're gonna do the same thing for our slip stitch row. So we're gonna to have to find that top loop, which mine is right here, insert into the front panel and then find that same top loop into the back panel, insert, single crochet. Let's do one more set. This is my next side half double crochet. So insert it into the front panel, find that same side half double crochet into the back panel, single crochet, and then next is our side slip stitch rows. So find that top loop in the front panel, find that top loop in the back panel, and then single crochet. And we're gonna keep doing this going all the way down till we don't have any more stitches left. Do a chain up of one and cut, and then do the same thing that we did here on the other side. All right, now that our side and shoulders are seamed, we're now ready to get started on our sleeve. So we're gonna make sure that our work is now flipped right side out again, and then we're gonna start our sleeve off by inserting our hook into the last stitch that we have for our side seam. 
We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. And then from here, we're going to make sure that we are working clockwise. And we're going to be inserting two single crochets into every side half double crochet that we have. So we're going to be skipping our slip stitch row. So let's do the first view. This is my first side half double crochet row right here. I'm going to insert my hook into there with one single crochet and then into that same side half double crochet, one more single crochet. Let's do the next one too. So this is my next side half double crochet, insert with one, and then into the same with two. And we are gonna keep doing this until we hit our regular stitches right over here. All right, and now that we are here, we're just gonna make our way up and over our shoulder, putting one single crochet into each of these stitches that we have. And then once we reach our underarm portion along the back, do the same thing as the front. So two single crochets into each side half double crochet row. I just wanna make a note that whatever number we have for our underarm portion, keep that in mind because that's going to come into play within the next few clips. But make your way around. Once we don't have any more stitches left, do a slip stitch into that chain up of one space, and then I'll meet you back. Now that we've made our way all the way around with our first row of single crochets, we're now gonna do a row of single crochet to half double crochet because we eventually need this to fold over our shoulder. So what we're gonna do from here, now that we have slip stitch into that chain up of one space, we're going to do a chain up of one to work our way up to this next row. And then remember in the previous clip where I said we're going to need to remember the same amount of stitches that we did for our underarm, we're going to do that many single crochets and then half double crochet around. So for me, I have a total of eight single crochets right here. So I'm gonna start this row off by doing eight single crochets. Now that we have our single crochets, we're now going to do our half double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. We're going to put one half double crochet into every stitch until we have the same amount of stitches that we need to single crochet on the other side and then go in with your single crochets. So I'm gonna half double crochet all the way around until I have eight stitches left. And then I'm going to close this row off with eight single crochets, slip stitch into that chain up of one space, and then I'll meet you guys back for the next row. All right, so I've made my way all the way around with my second row, and that was a single crochet to half double crochet, making our way all the way around, and then closing with single crochets. Now, just like the body, we're going to do a row of back loop slip stitches. So from here, we're going to do a chain up of one. Now we are going to flip our work and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Let's just do the first one together. Insert your hook into that next back loop. We're gonna yarn over and pull through everything. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And then I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. All right, and now that our row number three or our slip stitch row is done, we're now going to start decreasing into our single slash half double crochet row. So what we're gonna do is do a chain up of one, flip our work. So for each of these single half double crochet rows, we're gonna be working clockwise. We're gonna start off by putting one back loop single crochet for every stitch that we had for our underarm portion. So just like before, I had eight single crochets. So now I'll be doing eight back loop single crochets. So insert your hook into that first back loop. We're gonna yarn over, pull through, pull through two. I'm gonna keep working until I have eight. Now that I have my back loop single crochets done, I'm now gonna do a decrease of two back loop single crochets and then go in with my back loop half doubles. So into that next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Also insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. And then from here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we have the same amount of stitches needed so that we can finish with our single crochets plus two stitches for our decrease. So I will meet you guys back when I have just 10 stitches left. All right, we have done our back loop half double crochets all the way around until we're ready to do our back loop single crochets. So into the next two stitches, we're going to do a decrease of two back loop single crochets together one more time. 
So insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. Into that next back loop, we're going to yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. Then just yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And then close this row off by putting one back loop single crochet into every stitch and slip stitch into that chain up of one space. And once we're done with this row, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then do a back loop slip stitch row with no increases and no decreases. And then from there, we're going to be repeating those two rows. So a back loop single crochet row with a decrease that has half double crochets in it. And then the row after that is going to be a back loop slip stitch row. We're going to keep doing those two rows until this gets nice and snug around our arm. And then I will meet you guys back so we can go in with the rest of our sleeve. All right, so I am back with the first portion of my sleeve. I have a total of 17 rows and I did end on a slip stitch row and it's nice and snug around my arm. So from here, we do still need to even out our sleeve just a little bit so that it can be completely horizontal. So from here, we're actually going to do single crochets, back loop half double crochets, but with no decreases this time. So I'm going to do the first row with you guys and then I'll let you guys do the rest on your own. So starting this row off, we're still going to be maintaining the same amount of single crochets as we were. So for me, it was a total of eight back loop single crochets. And now that I have my eight back loop single crochets, I'm going to prepare for a half double crochet, insert my hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through three. And continue to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, Remembering to close off each of these rows with our back loop single crochets. And then we're going to do a row of back loop slip stitches with no increases, no decreases, until this comes completely horizontal on your arm. All right, so I am back with my evening out rows and I have a total of 23 rows now. And from here, we can go in with back loop half double crochet rows and back loop slip stitch rows, just like how we've been doing. And we're going to keep doing that for the length of our sleeve. My sleeve is going to be short, so I'm just going to do a few extra rows. But if you guys want to make this a long sleeve, feel free to just keep on going down until you guys decide to stop or until you guys want your cuff. So I'm going to do my next few rows and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, I now have my sleeve length and I have a total of 27 rows. I'm now ready to do my cuff. So from here, I'm going to make a chain the length that I want my cuff to be which is about an inch or two centimeters. So I'm gonna make a chain of five. Once when I have my chain, I'm gonna block off that last chain to a chain up of one. Into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert our hook with a slip stitch. So insert, yarn over, and pull through both loops on our hook. All right, let's do just one more together. Insert your hook into that next chain yarn over, pull through everything. Pull one slip stitch into every chain. Now that we've slip stitched into every chain, we now need to connect this into the base. So into that next available stitch that we have, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, and pull through everything. And then once we have that, our first row is attached and we're gonna need to work our way up to the next row. So slip stitch into that next stitch, and then flip our work. From here, we're gonna put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, so let's do the first few. This is our first back loop, so we're gonna insert our hook, yarn over, pull through everything with a slip stitch. We're gonna keep putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Once we make our way down to the end, kind of like how we are now, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch again, connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. And we're going to repeat these two previous rows until we don't have any more stitches left to go into. And I'll meet you guys back so we can seam it up together. Now that we've made our way around with our cuff, we're now going to seam it together. And this seam is going to be the same seam that we did for our side. So we're first going to want to make sure that our work is flipped right side out. And then into the first available stitch into the front panel, we're going to insert our hook into that front loop. 
and then into the next available stitch into the back panel, we're going to insert our hook into that back loop. And then from there, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. We're going to keep doing this until we don't have any more stitches left, and then do a chain up of one and cut. Once we have that, we're going to do the same exact thing that we did here for our sleeve on the other side. All right, so we're back and we are ready to work on our mock neck. We're gonna start off by trying on our piece and then we're gonna insert our stitch marker where we want our mock neck to start. I placed mine just a little bit above my collarbones on both sides, making sure I had the same amount of stitches per front panel. And then from here, we're going to need to single crochet from stitch marker going around the back to our next stitch marker. So let's get that started. Go ahead and insert your hook into that stitch that our stitch marker's in on one of the sides. Insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through, do a chain up of one. And then from here, we're gonna put one single crochet into every stitch. And then once we hit our back panel, we're going to put two single crochets into every side half double, and then one single crochet into every side slip stitch row. All right, now that we have made our way to our back panel, we're going to do our first set of single crochets. So my first available stitch that I have is this side half double crochet row. Like I said, we're going to be inserting with two single crochets. So there's our first single crochet, and then into that same side half double crochet, insert with a second single crochet. And then our next row is a side slip stitch row, which is this divot right here. So we're gonna find that top loop and insert with one single crochet. Let's do one more set. This is my next side half double. So insert with one and then two single crochets. And then my next side slip stitch, find that top loop, insert with one single crochet. Repeat this going all the way down and then I'll meet you guys back at our next stitch marker. All right, now that we have reached our next stitch marker, we're now going to make a chain the length that we want our mock neck to be. And I want mine to be about three inches or eight centimeters. So I'm gonna start off by making a chain of 13. Now that I have my chain, I'm gonna block off my last chain and do a chain up of one. From here, it's gonna be very similar to the cuff. So insert your hook into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook with a slip stitch. Into that next chain, insert with another slip stitch and put one slip stitch into every chain. And now that we've slip stitched into every chain, we're now going to need to slip stitch it into the base. So into that next available stitch, we're gonna insert our hook, yarn over, pull through everything. And now our first row is complete, so let's just work our way up to the next row by slip stitching into that next available stitch. Yarn over, pull through everything, flip our work. And then from here, we're going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. We don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one, flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. And then I'll meet you guys back once we hit our next stitch marker. All right, so now that we have done our slip stitches to our next stitch marker, what we're gonna do from here is start to work off the body. So it doesn't matter if you're up top like me or along the bottom, we're gonna do a chain up of one, flip our work and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And then at the end of every row, do a chain up of one and then repeat. And then we're gonna keep doing this until the slap can stretch around our head, but can also cinch around our neck. I'll meet you guys back when I have mine all finished, let you guys know my numbers. All right, my mock neck is finished. I have 66 rows and now I can seam it up. So what we're gonna do is make sure that our work is slipped right side out because we're gonna be doing more outside loop slip stitches to close this off. I'm going to lay my two ends on top of each other and insert my hook into my working yarn. And since we're already in through one of the panels, I'm also going to be inserting my hook into the corner stitch of the back panel. And then once both of our panels are on our hook, we're just going to yarn over, pull through everything for security. And then let's just do our first outside loop slip stitch together. So into that next available stitch into the front panel, insert your hook into that front loop and then into the back panel, find the next available stitch, and then insert your hook into that back loop. From there, we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook. And we are gonna keep doing that, making our way all the way down. 
If you guys are like me and you're working down towards the body, go ahead and stay put because we're going to clean up the edge. But if you guys are working your way up, do a chain up of one and cut and then reattach your hook into the corner where the neck and the body meet. Now that our mock neck is seamed together, we're now going to clean up the bottom and then also clean up our cutout. So what we're first going to do is insert our hook into the corner stitch where the mock neck meets the body. Mine is already here, so I'm going to do a chain up of one. And then I'm going to work along the bottom of my mock neck first. So I'm going to be putting one single crochet into every side slip stitch row that I have. So I'm going to pick my divot that I have right here. I'm going to find that top loop and then insert my hook into there. I'm going to skip this raised row, insert my hook into this next divot. Skip this raised row insert into the next, and I'm going to keep doing this along the entirety of the bottom of my mock neck. And now that we've single crocheted along the bottom of our mock neck, we're now going to single crochet along our cutout. So we're going to have a few stitches to go into, and these are going to be single crochets. So find that first stitch, insert your hook with one single crochet, and keep doing this until we reach our first side row. So I've made my way down to my first side row when it comes to my cutout. So when we're here, we're going to be putting two single crochets into every side half double crochet, and then one single crochet into every side slip stitch. So let's do the first set together, and then I'll let you guys finish this off on your own. So this is my first side half double crochet row. I'm going to find one of those loops, insert with one single crochet, and then into that same side half double crochet row, insert with our second. And then our next row is a side slip stitch. So go ahead and find that top slip stitch row and place one single crochet into there. And we're going to keep doing that, making our way all the way around, going up the side, and then we're going to slip stitch into that chain up of one space that we made when we started this off. And now that we have single crocheted along our cutout, we are all done. The last thing we have to do is weave in all of our ends. We've woven in our ends and our piece is all finished. Making this top was a blast. I always love a good mock neck and the keyhole cutout makes it that much cuter. This top took a little over a day to make which makes it a great weekend project. And since it's such a fast make, I know I'll see some of yours real soon. So don't forget to tag us on Instagram so we can share you to our highlights. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us your favorite childhood memory. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it really, really helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Those links are down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. Be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.